a new place to call home. This warehouse is a COVID safe space for more than 40 homeless people in Stoke-on-Trent after their old accommodation had to close. It's the creation of former Stoke City manager Lou Macari. He originally opened homeless shelter at the Macari Centre just up the road in 2016. But in May last year, all dormitory style accommodation was deemed unsafe by the government. The area we had for 40 odd people wasn't enough. I had to go quickly and, and find somewhere. Um, came along here, had a look in here, found that this was ample space, as you can see, size of a football pitch. I didn't plan any of this, and we touched a bit fortunate we got these in, and hopefully it can um, help them and help us to get um, a few more good results. The pods are kitted out with new beds, TVs, heating, and one special feature that's helping with employment. Probably the most important thing that's given the people who stay here is a number. On each pod there's a number. So now when they go to the job centre, instead of not being able to give an address and a number to that address, they, they say I, I live at number five, unit four, Regent Road, Hanley, and I live in the Macari centre. Lee Dowling has lived at the Macari Centre on and off for two years. He battled a drug addiction and could no longer live with his family. Without this place, um, yeah, um, I'd have been on the streets. So when I saw the pods, yeah, I, yeah really, um, I was chuffed, to put, to put it mildly, yeah. <laughs> um, I've, got, I've got my own space now, um, so if I want to play my music, I can, without disturbing anybody. <laughs> Giving back to the city that made him one of their own has been a labour of love for Macari. He managed Stoke for five seasons in two spells between 1991 and 97. He flipped its fortunes, winning at Wembley in his first season and going up as champions in his second. And that mentality for success is still at the heart of his operation here today. Well, life on the pitch is all about winning. Um, so. It there's no difference, I want to win in here. I want to be amongst winners, I want to get them to change their lives, um, which is not going to be easy. You go through a football career and at the end of it you look back and you're happy with whatever you've, whatever you've achieved. And it's the same with this, I've come in here, I started four years ago, didn't have a clue, I'd never met a homeless person. And um, four years later I'm, I'm quite happy with, with what we achieved in that time. Each pod is a helping hand given in the hardest of times from the man who wants everyone to be at the top of their game. Sarah Kilban-Wilson, ITV News.